I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard of the paradox of automation, Mr. Laurent? No, I don't think I have. Okay, now, the paradox says the more efficient an automated system becomes, the more crucial the human contribution toward that system is. I'm not sure I follow. If an automated system makes an error, right, um, that error will be rapidly multiplied until somebody can fix it. But the Esperanto doesn't make errors. It can translate any language perfectly. Language? Yes, it can. But isn't there so much more to communication than that? That was my wife on video call. She's gonna meet me after the interview. Sorry about that. No need for apology. So, where were we? You were saying why you don't trust instant translators. Distrust, that's a strong word. I built my whole business with them. You see, there's a reason why I issue every one of my employees at Esperanto. And there's also a reason why I invest so much in intercultural communication training. Because of nuance? Yes. You can't just walk into any room anywhere in the world and just start talking to people. I mean, there are social customs that have to be respected. Isn't language a social custom? You didn't seem to have a hard time getting rid of that. <laughs> that is a very big assumption, Mr. Laurent. I mean, just because we've lost the utility of multilingualism doesn't mean we have to lose the art of it. Okay, so these other social customs that you were speaking of, aren't they a barrier to communication just like language was? Wouldn't we be better off getting rid of those too? Yes, you may be right, but I still have a little romance left in me. I think we all do. Of course, there's still the variable of body language. You think that's important? I think it's everything. Oh, there's my wife. Mr. White, est-ce que je peux avoir deux minutes de plus? J'ai plusieurs de questions pour toi. Bien sûr. Uh, semaine prochaine, la même place, le même temps. À bientôt. Bien sûr. Bien sûr. Mm.